What's going on you guys for another video? This is Dale and Sparrow 3671. Gonna be a tear down. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. So you guys will need uh, just a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. That's all you need. So first all I'll do is I'll gonna remove the two screws in the back, one on the top, one on the bottom. Slide the side cover panel to the left. First, all we'll do remove the one screw here, on the back side. Also, remove uh, four screws here where the power supply is at, right here. Two in the top, two in the bottom. Now what I'll do guys is I'm gonna move the, this is a plastic French route for the CPU. So it's got one clip right here and one clip right on the left side. So you're gonna take your finger like this and like that little finger and press it up like this gently. And one right here in the corner, there's a pin right here. And it should be able to come out. So see one right here, press it and one over here on the side right here also. You see that? So you're going to take your finger like this and lift it up. Uh, this, like if you guys are asking, what is this for? This is actually for the, for the airflow. So basically the airflow is going this way, like that. It's, it gets the air from here and goes down. See, see how the, the fan, fan airflow is? So actually it's going this way. I was wrong, see that, the fan? So it's just the air going that way actually up. So what I will do guys is I'm going to remove the, the RAM. And there's little tabs, you go press them down gently, remove them. I'm going to remove the front plastic cover. Now I'm going to disconnect the SATA power cable. From the hard drive and I'm gonna go in the front and use Phillips that screwdriver there are two screws you have to remove if you're if you have a three and a half inch then there'll be screws two right here and two screws will be right right here that you have to remove it's a three and a half inch hard drive you have the other side so you guys can see like this and it's actually basically it's gonna come out like that like this gently pull it to the left like that and it comes out and pull it out now I'm gonna do guys is I'll disconnect the stereo cable the blue one and the power cable So also disconnect the SATA cable for the optical drive, the orange cable and power cable. I'm gonna go around here, disconnect the, the CPU power right here, the four pin, four wire go around you can disconnect here 
And you're gonna disconnect right here there for the motherboard. Looks like it's a one, two, three, eight pin power. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the power supply out to do that. So you guys can see better. Just slide to the left like this, comes out, lift it up. Uh, the fan on the power supply looks like it's 80 millimeter, 80 millimeter. And and also the CPU fan is 80, mil, 80 millimeter right here, you can see. And it's got a CPU, you can disconnect the fan. Okay. So what I'll do is just remove the VD card here, go around like this, and you gotta use your finger. I'll lift it up. And it's gotta see this this PCI Express time 16 slot, the, the, the secure clip, you're gonna press it up like that gently and you're gonna pull the VD card at the same time. So now what I'll do is there are two screws here for the optical drive. And you're gonna slide it to the right. Now, let's see, there's one screw you have to remove right here. This is for the USB ports, SD card reader, and our power switch is actually power button and power switch built into the motherboard. And this plastic plate will just basically comes out like this. You see, and you lift it up like that, comes out, you see, nice. Basically, hold by one screw. Now, I'm gonna go the other side. I'm gonna disconnect the SSD, the 2280. And this one is using uh, uh, some Philips that smaller one. Uh, the original one, you cannot use. So this is a lot smaller mini one you have to use. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy this dry, uh, screwdriver set, bit set they sell. And you guys can just buy that. It'll just be a lot better. Okay, so let me try to... removed remove the screw now what I'll do guys is uh I'm gonna start removing the look like let's see the wireless wireless LAN right here use that just one loose hole by the one screw also gonna slide down like this gently and what I will do is I will go ahead and remove the, the CPU heat sink cooler this one using on Phillips head Side the other side corner. I can't see, okay. Okay. Go 
I'll check the other left corner again. Looks like the bottom one. Okay, complete. I'll lift it up. So what I'll do is I need to grab a napkin quickly. Use a paper towel. And just wipe down the thermal camp on right here. You're gonna wipe it off thermal camp out. If you, the your doesn't come out really well, then you just have to use a you have to use a rubbing alcohol. So I'll leave that CPU in there and I'll remove the motherboard first. So I'm going to start from the bottom. You guys can see better. side corner there are two screws you have to remove now I'm gonna go from the top there one screw here in the corner you have to remove left corner Also, don't forget, you got to remove this screw right here. You see that? That was the SSD 2280. This guy right here, you got to remove that also. You see that? Because if you don't, if you don't remove it, you're not going to be able to pull the motherboard out. So, this is one here in the middle. Right, right here corner and there's one here also you have to remove this one here in corner but So that's complete. Now we can check, make sure all the screws are there. One, two, three in the top, two in the bottom, and one, two, three in the middle. So what I'll do, guys, I'm gonna pull the motherboard out. The way you do it is, uh, so you're gonna lift it up like this, gently, take your finger like this, and see that right here from the right side, right here, lift it up like this, and pull it to the right, gently, like that. And should be able to pull the motherboard out. Looks like a micro ATX motherboard. So basically, if you look at the power switch, power LED, uh, right here, the power switch power button is built into the motherboard. So the, basically this motherboard is designed to be in the, uh, for this case only, USB ports right here. Well, it looks like a micro ATX. I'm gonna pull the CPU out. And the CPU in here is an i5-9400, just like that, and lift it up, gently. And remove the PCI bracket one right here, last part. Let me just check, yeah, guys, this is a... Uh, Two downs complete. Thanks for watching. Bye.